Hello, Collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, share the content, do whatever your spirit is guiding you to do um, to show support. If you just feel like watching, go ahead and do that as well. For masculine energy out there, you have false friends or friend, a false friend around you. You are asking this person for advice and this is not someone you should be asking for advice. There is actually a couple that is working against you to get into a relationship that you really want to get into. And I don't know how seriously you're taking their advice, but you may want to stop taking their advice. Um, what I'm getting is that you are talking to the masculine within this relationship, within this friendship, whatever. There's a married couple, but you're getting advice from the husband. And the husband does not have any genuine motives for you, okay? This is someone that wants to keep you trapped. This couple may have been may have accepted some type of bribery behind the scenes to discourage you from going towards the person that you are interested in. So it's like someone accepts money behind the scenes to come and tell you, oh, I don't think you should date her. Or if you're, you know, into same same sex relationship, I don't think you should date him. Um, this person is not good for you. Uh, if you're young, if they, if that other person is younger than you, excuse me, they are probably possibly telling you that uh, um, it's going to be a waste of time. Someone's going to break your heart. Someone is loose. Someone parties a lot. They're telling you any and everything to discourage you from getting into this relationship. This is a couple that's doing this to you, but the masculine is more so the one that's talking to you, um, trying to discourage you. The, because they want to keep you trapped. They want to keep you trapped in your mind, in life overall. Someone does not want to see you doing better than them. And that is because together, this couple, they are not happy together. This is a miserable couple, right? These are people possibly facing a lot of financial issues. These people are not happy together. This is a miserable couple. Like if you see them in public, you may think that they love each other. The husband may refer to the wife as his sweetheart and things like that, my love and things like that, but that is not how it is behind closed doors. These people fight a lot behind closed doors. They argue a lot these are people that pretend to be proper industries but there are for lack of a better word ghetto behind the behind the scenes behind closed doors and because they are unhappy in their relationship they don't want you being happy they don't want you connecting with a queen of pentacles this is someone that's family oriented this is wife material they don't want you connecting with this woman because they know you're going to be happy you're going to have wish fulfillment with this person this is someone that is business minded just like you the fact that business is coming up, this means that you could be someone that has a lot of dreams to have a business of your own. And this, these people do not want you having that. So they didn't mind accepting bribery behind the scenes to block your forward movement. Uh, there's something about either the people they are working with, working with that know that when you and this other person come together, it's going to be a powerful dynamic. So they are working with a group of people behind the scenes to block this connection. Um, or for some of you, this can just be like a couple that's very spiteful because they are unhappy together. They don't want to see you happy this is someone you've known for quite a long time but just know that the person that you do want to connect with is a genuine energy this is someone that's family focused on someone that's focused on their pentacles this is a mother figure someone that's very nurturing kind takes very good care of the home front um this is like the person that will work the eight the eight hour shift come home cook make sure you and the kids are taken care of and things of that nature and because this masculine does not have that never really had that with this woman that he's in a relationship with he don't want you to have that this is a very pretentious couple they want to steal your a uh, forward movement they want to block your life someone knows that either you struggle with anxiety Someone knows that you have a lot of mental conflict, that you stay in your mind all day. Part of why we have this Seven of Swords out here, which is why they are playing mind games with you and pretending to be genuine. But this person wants you to be left out in the cold. They want you to leave this Queen of Pentacles out in the cold. They want this Queen of Pentacles to leave you out in the cold. They do not want you coming together with this woman uh, because they know you would have wish fulfillment. Oh my goodness, excuse me, my car is just it's kind of flipped over. Um, 
Someone knows that you want to sail to calmer water. So you may have gotten out of a relationship that was not fulfilling. Um, and this is your second chance at life and love and things like that. You see someone as your soulmate is what I'm hearing. And you know that you will be successful um, with them. But this, this couple does not want you having it. There's a couple that is just absolutely miserable. They are absolutely miserable. Someone that you are getting advice from is not someone you should be getting advice from. This is someone with an ulterior motive. This is someone that is uh, 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 mentally and emotionally imbalanced. This is someone malicious. Uh, something I'm also hearing is that this masculine is in this the couple, the masculine in that couple, right? I don't know how else to put that. The husband may be interested in the person that you want to connect with. So because he knows that he cannot have that person, he may be doing things, telling you things to discourage you because it's like, I like her or I like him. I don't want to see you with them. So why would I let you get with them? Um, and so this is why they are going out of their way to block your forward movement. But this is a very unhappy couple, very unhappy. They may be having money issues and things like that. It's just a lot of stuff they're going through, um, that they are hiding from you. And they're trying to make it seem like you, it, they're trying to make it seem like they have your best interest at heart, but they're done. This is a whole collaboration behind the scenes. Okay. So they're doing, they're doing quite a lot to block this union from coming together. Someone just want you and this energy that you want to connect with to stay separate because this is a love that is very uncommon. This is like a love that's meant to be. This is something where it's like very supernatural. Like you and this person you are trying to connect with, you two connect on like a soul level. So you two may like uh, communicate with each other psychically uh, spiritually and people don't even know that so when even this person is giving you horrible advice about the person you're interested in you already know the truth um, but you will still sit there and listen I think at this time you may even just be studying how this, hus this the husband is moving because this is someone you've trusted for a long time but I said toxic relationship this this couple this is a toxic couple very toxic okay they're not happy they have a lot of issues they're dealing with behind uh, behind the scenes, and I don't mean that they I don't mean like they're taking steps to fix their problems. They have issues that are ongoing. These are people that avoid their issues. Uh, it, it's just too much, too much going on here. Someone plays a lot of mind game, which in a sense is like dark magic because they know that they're doing some type of manipulation to interfere with your free will, okay? And this is going to come back to hunt them, okay? Yeah, yeah, okay? These people know exactly what to say to you. They know what to say to you. To discourage you. They know how to play with your mental. This is a plan that they are carrying out. They don't want to see you happy. Someone is in some type of competition with you. All of this is planned. Okay? This is all planned. Something I'm hearing is that you are recovering from something. So you could be recovering from heartbreak. Maybe you were in a relationship before and it didn't work out and you are recovering from that. But just know that this couple, whatever they, they are doing, it is planned. This is not accidental. They are in collaboration with other people behind the scenes to block this union from coming together. Absolutely from coming together, but it's not going to work. Someone is going to be extremely embarrassed after this couple, you and this person come together. Yeah. Lovers. Absolutely. Someone here, someone here, this husband has some type of lustful desire for the person you are interested in. And because they know the person they the person you are interested in does not see them in that way, it makes them angry, they're bitter about it. So they are painting pictures to confuse you. Okay. Someone knows that you really care about this person. Yes, you may have a lot of uh, uh, uh imaginations and things about them, explicit imaginations and things about them, but they know that you genuinely care for this person. They want they want to make you think like 
you wanting to connect with this woman is just lust. Like you're just in your lust, in your, in your, um, you know, your manhood, right? You're thinking with your manhood and not your head. And that's not true. You and this person resonate on a soul level. This is a union that's guided by spirit. Okay. So no, this is not something that's in just in your head. This is not something where it's just lust. This is a couple. Don't, didn't I just say divine union? This is meant to be. It's not just lust. I just said that this is a union that's divinely meant to be. It is not just lust. You and this person are going to be successful in life together. You're going to have like businesses that you will build together. And these people are aware of that. And this is why they're taking actions behind the scenes without you knowing it to block your forward movement. You could have been in collaborations with these people at some point to block this person forward movement. But you've had some type of change your heart because you're going through some type of awakening. Okay, you are going through some type of awakening, healing, things like that. And you are now in the know that you have a soul contract with this person. You have a lot of emotions with for this person. And now you may have to come back and confess what it is you did behind the scenes. And you are afraid to do that. But that's the only way to move forward. Someone is playing mental games with you as well. They may be telling you, hey, if you confess or uh, if you... Uh, 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 Tell them what you did. They're going to be extremely spiteful towards you. They're going to, you know, cut you off. They may try to get back at you. Queen of Pentacles don't move in that manner. These types of women, they don't move like that. Most of the time, they are aware of what you are doing, but they won't say anything. These are people that are highly intuitive, very gifted, okay? Strong connection to source. So a lot of the times they already know what you are doing behind the scenes, but they won't say anything because they're letting you dig a hole for yourself. And you, sir, your hole that you dug for yourself is now you having to apologize to this person because of what you did. And now you have to hope that they will forgive you so you two can sail on to calmer waters. This is why this six of swords is out here. You're hoping that you two can sail to calmer waters. That they won't leave you out in the cold or leave you in some type of toxic way of living because you have a, you have some additions you're dealing with. You may be afraid to speak your truth to this person. Like there's something you're hiding about yourself as well. It's not just this couple. You have a lot of toxic ways that you are hiding about you. And you don't want this person to know that. But if this person is a true queen of pentacles, I guarantee you they know the truth about you. They know that you are hiding something. You may be doing some type of fake busy lifestyle. You're not really busy. You may be someone that drinks a lot. You, you, you indulge in a lot of things that you should not. You may have some type of explicit addictions and things like that. So someone knows. This queen of pentacles knows a lot about you that you may not be aware of that she knows. Okay, so whatever this masculine, this unhappy couple, the husband, whatever he's telling you, I would throw that out the door. And I, I see a couple out here, but for some of you, this could be like a feminine energy that's doing this to you. But you and this person have a soul contract. So you will have to make things right with this person. You will have to come out and let them know about everything you've been doing behind the scenes. I said something about a collaboration. The Five of Wands is at the bottom. This does mean that this was a group effort to block this union from coming together. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Let me get clarity on this couple, please. Like, I already know what I need to know about them. This is a toxic uh, couple. Unhappy. <laughs> look, look at this. They're trying to cause you confusion. Confusion. These people want you mentally blocked. They don't want you to see the truth. They don't want you moving forward. They don't want you to take your blindfolds off. But no one can take that off for you but you. They want you dumb. They want you confused, conflicted. They want you second-guessing yourself, right? Everything you do in regards to this connection, they want you second-guessing yourself. So even if you see this woman or whoever this is and you see them for who they are, they want you to think that you don't see what it is that you see. If you see that this person is polite, they'll tell you, oh, she's faking it. If someone tells you they don't go out to clubbing and things like that, the masculine will tell you, oh, well, it's, 
It's not that she doesn't go out clubbing um, every day. She probably goes on the weekends. Queen of Pentacles don't go clubbing. They don't go clubbing. They're focused on their family, making sure everything is taken care of in the home, being a good wife, being a good mother. That's what matters to a Queen of Pentacles. They don't care about clubbing. These are not people that go clubbing. These are not people that party. These are not people that have a lot of friends. Because their focus is on something else. These are people, these queen of, queen of pentacles are women that when you meet them, they probably have like one or two friends that they are close with. If not that, they don't have any friends at all. These people don't party. Okay? But I guarantee you, this couple is working in collaboration with the whole group behind the scenes to cause you mental conflict, to keep you trapped, to keep you blocked. They don't want to see you be prosperous in life. They have some type of personal vendetta against this page of swords person. Um, this queen of pentacles is also showing up here as a page of swords. This means that this woman is highly intelligent, feisty as well. So they cannot come to her with a BS because she's going to check it at the door. That's why they're not coming to her. They're not approaching her. They have to work from behind the scenes. You, on the other hand, you are a little bit more tolerant. You're a bit of a pushover. So they know what they can say to you to manipulate you. Okay? But they're, they're playing with your mind. They're playing mental games with you. They're tricking you because you allow people to do this to you. Okay, you may be even aware that this woman is feisty, this queen of pentacles, special source energy. You know she's feisty, but you know that there's some type of genuine nature to it. These are not people that just jump out of character for any reason. You have to do something to them for them to react in that manner. Okay, but whoever this masculine is that's in the, that couple, I don't know how else to put it. He's not your friend. I don't care how long you've known him, six months, two years. 10 years, 15 years, 30 years, that is not your friend, never been your friend. You just choose not to see the truth about this person, not your friend. Keep your distance. I'm telling you, keep your distance from this person. This is an energy leech. This person sucks the life out of people. This is someone that's unhappy with themselves. And because they're unhappy with themselves, they, they, they drain happiness from other people. But when you come in their energy, they pretend to be very bubbly, very happy, uh, 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 very positive. This could even be someone that's from like a religious background. But they are a contradiction in flesh. Okay? Keep your distance from this person. Do not tell them anything about you, what you want to do, your hopes, your dreams, your desires, where your plans are. Stop tell, talking to this person. Distance yourself from them. They don't have any genuine intentions for you. Okay? You need to protect your wealth, your money from this person. I don't know what it is that's going on with your finances when it comes to these people, but you need to protect your finances. Stop sharing money with these people. I don't know if you give to people a lot. You're showing up as someone that, uh, 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 you're, I'm seeing you as someone that gives very easily and things like that. I wish there's nothing wrong with that, but you're giving to the wrong people. They're taking advantage of you. These people see you like as a meal ticket because they're having financial issues with this four of pentacles out here. That is why they don't want you connecting with this woman because she's going to hip hip you on things okay she's gonna put you in the 411 give you the 411 about the characters around you and this is what they are afraid of okay and i'm getting a mature character for you the masculine that i'm talking to you are a mature character but there's something about your mental it plays on you a lot you stay stuck in your head a lot i see a lot of source out here you're someone that overthinks. You think and think and think and think. You think so much, sometimes you don't even make a move. And you end up experiencing a lot of losses. Okay? You have a lot of business aspirations. I keep hearing that. But you're not going for it because there's someone behind the scenes that e that's either talking you out of it or you are talking yourself out of it. And when you connect with this woman, she's going to help you manifest a new reality where your businesses will be manifested and you will be prosperous. You are meant to be prosperous in life. But someone is playing mental games with you. You're going to have to find new friends. 
or cut this couple out. Keep your distance from them. Stop sharing your money. Someone may be trying to steal from you as well. Okay? Someone is trying to steal from you. You're an emperor. Lord have mercy. The emperor and the, uh, 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 um, the queen of pentacles. Okay? Yeah. You need to let go. Remove yourself from this situation. Take charge of your life. Remove yourself from these people, their energy, whatever collaboration you are a part of. Remove yourself from them, from it. As far as you confessing what it is you did, there's nowhere around that. Because when you come into this Queen of Pentacles energy and you try to manipulate the situation and act like you don't know what happened or you didn't play any role into what happened, she will know and she's going to cut you out. She's not going to be disrespectful to you. She's not going to talk down to you. She's not going to beat you down with words. That's not how Queen of Pentacles move. But what she will do is distance herself from you because you will be selling yourself as someone disingenuine and they don't have time for that. So you need to remove yourself from your group of friends, this couple, their collaboration. Remove yourself from it. It's not helping you. It's not going to work out for the group of people that are working together to destroy this Queen of Pentacles page of source energy. It's not going to work out for them. Their futures are doomed. Some of these people are about to be homeless or going through homelessness right now, but they won't tell you. They're losing jobs and things like that. Losing finances, facing financial issues and things like that. Not just you, but some of these people are dealing with a lot of additions that they cannot get rid of. This is their karma for coming up against someone of this magnitude. I wouldn't be surprised if the star card appear out here or even the temperance energy appeared out here. This is someone I'm hearing is divinely protected. There's always divine intervention when people plan something ill for this woman. Okay? These people were planning to steal something from this person and you knew that. They were planning to cause blockages for this person and you knew that. You may have participated and now you are living in remorse. You need to take yourself, remove yourself out of this situation because it's only going to be getting worse for everyone involved. Okay? Absolutely. Have mercy. Genuine energy. You need to remove yourself from this collaboration, these people, so you can live in your truth and get the offer in love that you really want. You want to have a genuine connection with someone in life. You want to have a genuine connection with someone in life. It's what I'm hearing. You don't have genuine people around you. And this woman you are connecting with, this is going to be your new beginning in life, in love, in business, in success, building, building an empire is what I'm hearing. You need to re-examine your connections with people. Excuse me. You don't have positive friends around you. I don't know what it is that some people tend to hold on to toxic connections for so long. And we all go through these stages. But some people just never learn to let go. They keep holding on to people. It's like, it's like being programmed to just settle for one way of living, even though their way of living is not working for you. You keep settling for it. This is going to be a solid connection. I guarantee you it. If you come in a genuine energy, you this relationship will be successful. But if you come with the BS, pretending to be something you are not, it's not going to be successful. You two will sail to calmer waters. This is going to be a connection of commitment, reciprocity. What you put in is what you will get out, is what I'm hearing, okay? What you put in is what you will get out. I have these two cards. Ace of, Ace of Wands, yes, brand new passion and beginning in love. We have a King of Pentacles out here. There's someone that may want to connect with this woman as well. I don't know if you are aware of this person. Sorry, you all. This King of Pentacles just threw me off, so I need to get clarity on them. 
but there's a king of pentacles that's watching this woman as well and wants to connect with her it's that you all have something to say this person didn't take this woman seriously in the past but now he wants to have some type of connection with her it's that you all did something to this one person you all came together to do something to one feminine energy now the truth has been revealed about this feminine energy and people have apologies that they want to give now people are romantically interested in her because she's been seen as someone genuine, nurturing, wife material, things like that. Okay? And if this woman chooses not to forgive any of you, then she doesn't have to. Queen of Wands. I'm telling you, showing up in beautiful energies. This is someone that is absolutely direct. So maybe someone thought they were going to pick a fight with this woman and she was just going to roll over and they didn't go according to plan. This is a fighter. This is uh, someone that's very hardworking, down to earth as well. Very beautiful. Maybe some of you find her to be beautiful, whoever this is. This is someone intuitive. Okay. These types of people don't beat around the bush. They'll tell you what it is they have to say, but it's not coming from a malicious place. And where if you are someone that's not mentally strong enough to take what it is that they're giving you, you're going to take it the wrong way. And this is why sometimes the queen of wands can come across as being aggressive and things like that. It's not that they're aggressive. It's just that they're straightforward. We have to cherry it out here. So this relationship is moving forward. I guess you are going to do the right thing. This person is taking charge to move forward, okay? There's a queen of wands in here that has some type of legal issues coming in as well for causing some type of mayhem behind the scenes, causing a lot of interferences and things like that. So someone has legal issues coming in. I'm not going to read into her energy because I'm tired of these toxic people. They've been taking over the readings for uh, weeks now, and I'm just over their toxic energy. But... You may want to reach out to this woman, give her some type of message, letter, whatever it is, to let her know the truth, confess to her what has been going on, and you will have to do that or you'll have to do it in person as well, okay? For some of you, there's something going on with court. You could be, you should be expecting to receive some type of letter in the mail that's going to bring something to your attention, okay? But you, sir, this communication you're going to send this woman is going to lead to some type of forward movement for the two of you okay there's a couple in here that has some type of ending coming for them it could be this couple that's been misleading you there could be another couple excuse me it's it's a whole lot of hands in here i can't even shuffle my card anymore because legal issues someone has legal issues coming in okay someone went above and beyond i said something about a collaboration and then here we go with the three of pentacles absolutely there's a message coming in about a collaboration that took place behind the scenes to interfere with a connection to interfere with someone's money resources forward movement their income and people are going to jail for this someone is getting locked up it's a whole lot going on. And they didn't expect it to turn this turn out this way. Yes, interfering with someone's work. Absolutely. They wanted to bring someone's work to an end. Someone resources. They wanted someone just working and working and working, never seeing the, the harvest of their labor and things like that. Just focused on working. It's like someone wants you to feel like, oh, the harder I work, if I put in more work, then I'm going to get out more. It's eventually going to pay up. And people didn't want that happening for you. People wanted you working and working and working under some type of illusion that your work was going to pay off. It wasn't going to pay off because they were doing things behind the scenes to prevent it from paying up. This is how malicious and cold-hearted these people are. People were getting a thrill out of bullying someone. It's what I just heard. People were getting a thrill out of bullying one person. This is like a whole group coming together to bully one person. And they were having a time at it. Laughing. Having good night's sleeps. 
Some of these people weren't even sleeping at night because they would stay up all night taunting someone on social media, stalking you, watching you, doing all kinds of stuff. And now the tables have turned and people are experiencing endings. People have legal, legal charges coming in and now they may want to reach out to this energy to say they're sorry, please don't press charges. That's not how that goes. Okay. <laughs> it says, uh, there's a message that's supposed to come out, but it's not exactly the one that keeps flipping, but flipping right back in. Yeah, this collaboration. Yeah, honey. There was a whole collaboration that had to do with someone's work. They didn't want your work moving forward. But something is being looked over. Balance is being brought into a situation. Someone has taken charge of their life and they're moving forward. It's like, it's like a group of people thought the longer they did something, you will get worn out, wear down, and you will eventually give up. But you're someone who's showing up here as the magician. You are taking charge of your life and you're going to keep moving. It's like someone was like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do, and they kept doing it and doing it and doing it. And then you, the queen of pentacles, whoever you are, you were like, I don't care what it is they're doing. I'm going to keep moving forward. And you kept doing just that. And things are moving in your favor. Balance is absolutely being brought into this situation. There was a document found as well. Someone has been either tempering with a document. Someone has been hiding a document. Someone has been refusing to send a document. There's something about a document that just came out. And this document is going to be given to who it's supposed to be given to. Something is being looked over. Someone is being criticized. These people were criticizing you, criticizing you as well at some point, Queen of Pentacles. But now they are the ones being criticized someone is seeing these people as just foolish vain superficial airheads okay and they thought you were the the one who was that way when a group of people have to come together to bully someone to taunt someone you have to know something is up with that with their mental you want to tell me no one amongst you had enough sense to say, this is stupid. This is immature. We shouldn't do this. Like no one had enough sense to do that. But when people are unhealed, this is the kind of stuff they do. They don't see, they don't see the stupidity in what they're doing. All they know that, all they know is that they are, they are messing with someone and they're getting a thrill out of it. Temporary pleasures, temporary, temporary gratifications. And now people have legal issues, legal problems coming in fast and they cannot avoid it. And even with all of that going on, there's still someone in here that wants to keep playing with you. So I wouldn't feel sorry for any of these people. And all of this is from jealousy, animosity, insecurity from their end. But this emperor wants to partner up with you. Yeah, someone was accepting donations to do something. And that's the God honest truth. Someone was accepting donations to bully someone. Okay, I mentioned something, uh, Emperor, that you are someone giving in this Six of Pentacles is out here. You give a lot to people. You give a lot to people. This King of Pentacles that wants to join or get in some type of union or collaboration with this woman, I don't know if you're going to be able to because you didn't even take this connection serious. You made a horrible decision to connect with a Queen of Wands that did not really reside in that energy. This is someone, this is someone I'm being sure that is rash. It's like you took the counterfeit over the real. And now you want to come back to the real, but that's not how things go. So I don't know how you're going to sort that out, but good luck with that. It's like, the, uh, uh, excuse me, the work you were doing with this Queen of Wands, or maybe you weren't aware of what she was doing behind the scene has come back to bite you. I don't know why my cards keep sliding out of my hands today. It has come back to bite you all in your behinds. 
This couple been one to. <sighs> well, I'm sick of this couple. I'm not even gonna touch on, on them anymore. I'm sick of them. Okay, I am sick of these people. Yeah. So this you may want to give to this woman so that you two can have a brand new passion and beginning in love or something like that. It's not going to be as easy because now there's another energy in here, a king of swords. It's that all of you masculines. What kind of energy are you residing in where you think it's okay to bully a feminine energy? Just one person. Like, are you all one of the, like, some of the masculines that have a problem with women being, like, independent or on their own or something? Like, you have a problem with that? So, if you can't conquer a woman, you figure you'll take her down, destroy her life or something to see her living in a deplorable state? Like, what kind of mindset is that? That is so immature. Oh, my gosh. Someone in here may be wanting to pay someone to pay another masculine to come in and give some type of love offer to a feminine energy. That's not going to work. It's like, oh, if I can't have her, then I'll set her up to fail. That's not going to work. Okay. So it's like all these masculines now want to have some type of uh, 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 passionate beginning with you. This king of swords, sir, you can't go anywhere. You're stuck where you are. You wanted to take some type of action towards this woman. Some type of rash action, you cannot. Something is disposed about you. You wanted to make it look like you had some type of genuine interest in this woman. You do not. You're being stopped from coming in her energy because you have ulterior motives. Someone here could have finances going coming in, and that's why this King of Swords wanted to connect with you so that he could be attached to it. Okay? This is someone that's dealing with insecurities. Misusing power and things like that. This is not someone diplomatic. Okay? This is someone, because of this Knight of Wands in the reverse coming after him, this is someone that's very impulsive. Like, the, like King of Swords, there are people that are very intellectual, very smart, in, uh, intelligent. Like, they plan things out. But with this here, this person is... Impulsive. Absolutely impulsive. And they're being blocked out of your energy. Thank goodness. This five of wands keep coming out. These people are fighting amongst themselves. And my car keeps doing its own thing today. These people are fighting amongst themselves. This collaboration did not go according to plan. Someone lost a lot of finances. Paying or bribing, bribing, bribing people behind the scenes to do something to a feminine energy. Someone lost a lot of money. Someone may be losing their job and they're about to be begging for money and things like that. Living on wealth, welfare and things like that. This is what they wanted for this feminine energy. Someone is losing their job. Someone's forward movement is not looking good. Okay? Someone is in sorrows. 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 We don't have pity because this is what you all intended for one person. A whole group of people came together to destroy one person. Not because this person did anything to any of you, but because of jealousy, immaturity, insecurity is what I'm hearing. Okay? And you feel intimidated by this person. You decided to come after them and now you all are experiencing losses. Someone is losing a lot of finances. I said that because they didn't, they didn't do what they were supposed to do. They didn't take something serious. It was all fun and games at first and now it's turned serious. Like people were doing this for fun. Tormenting someone for fun. Playing mental games. People were playing mental games for fun. People that are old enough to be your parents, grandparents, people that should know better. These are married people, people that have children. What if someone was doing this to your child on social media or just in their life overall? Like, what? Would, how would that make you feel? Or do you all not feel at all? You can't. It's impossible. Okay? 
This King of Swords is disappointed because he, he does not have a second chance with you. Okay? Someone is disappointed because you're still receiving your resources. There's some type of finance that's supposed to make it to you and you'll still be receiving it. Someone lost a lot of money, I'm telling you. And that keeps coming up. Someone lost a lot of money. Paying people to bully someone. Paying for magic. Going to practitioners. It's a few people in here that go to practitioners. Someone is afraid to come towards this energy because she knows the truth about them. It's like they want to come in to move on with life still to calmer waters. And this person, this feminine energy is going to be looking at them like, uh, yeah, you can say what you have to say, but thread cautiously. Thread lightly. Okay. Someone is upset because you're about to be a privileged lady. They cannot connect with you. You have your source. Your swords pulled out at these people. You have your victory coming in. You're about to be your privileged lady. This is what these people have been trying to prevent for you. Yeah, karma. Justice, honey. Justice. Mayat is in the building. Mayat is in the building. Sister Mayat is here. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Karma, karma, karma. My goodness. Yeah, you all collaborated against a star sea. And balance is being brought into the situation. Things are moving in the favor of the star sea. Then I said something about, I wouldn't be surprised if the star car came out here. And there it is. Things are moving in the favor of this star sea. This is someone who's a blessing to the world. This is a someone this is someone who's a blessing to have in your life. This is someone genuine, someone innocent, and you all may have told a lot of lies to get people to work with you against this energy. And it has come back to bite you in the behinds. Okay? Absolutely. This couple can no longer cause any type of confusion. I don't know who this couple, who they are, but they are about to go through some type of ending that they're not even expecting. And I'm talking about like divorce, homelessness, a lot of mental conflict. Someone may lose their mind in, this, in between these two people because what's about to happen to them is going to be supernatural. They were trying to block a message from coming in, but it's still coming in. They were trying to block someone from growth forward movement, but they are still moving forward. And then I keep hearing someone saying, oh, you mean we can't mess with her anymore? No, but the universe is about to mess with you. And guess what? The star C is going to have the privilege of having a front row seat to see exactly what you're going through. Someone is going to come back to beg, this, beg you, Star C, for forgiveness and for a handout. Do not. Something was stolen from you. Something was blocked from you. It's being returned to you. Okay. Your finances. There's something about finances here that's being protected. Because the truth, something is being revealed. Okay. Something is being reviewed, examined, looked over. People are being criticized. People are being judged and being seen for who they are. And the truth will be revealed. Right now, the stage is still re-examining things. It's like someone was pushing or fathering a narrative and they made a mistake and possibly told a lie that led to something being looked over. Okay? And you are being seen as the truth. Someone did a lot of slandering, a lot of pretending, a lot, they caused a lot of damages behind the scenes. 
And now balance is being brought into the situation. Yes, honey. Illumination. We're going from the moon to the sun. The strength card. Honey, it doesn't get any more beautiful than that. The truth is revealed. It's not a secret anymore. What these people have been up to. It's no longer a secret. People are being seen for exactly who they are. The truth is being revealed. If this is a court case, the truth is being revealed in court. There could be a court case that's going on for some of you and you don't even know it. And it's going in your favor. That's how blessed you are. That's how much your ancestors F with you. That they are the ones showing up in court on your behalf. Touching the right hearts. Touching the right minds to move in your favor. To speak on your behalf. And your pathway is clear. Okay. You've had to stay really strong throughout this whole experience. Yeah. Throughout this whole experience of people interfering with your life, causing you chaos, destruction, interfering with your finances, your stability, you stay calm and strong through it all and now they're gonna have to do the same thing and unfortunately they won't be able to last like you did these people cannot handle what it is that they put you through but they're about to get a taste of their own medicine if they are not already going through it there are challenges coming in for these people that they don't even expect and it's going to be supernatural how things play out it's going to be like one karma after the other one karma after the other. Worn out is what I'm hearing. Beat down. Someone refused wisdom. That means someone was guided at some point to see things from a higher perspective and they refused to. And now they have to uh, uh, deal with the consequences. Okay? You know, these people... <laughs> these people celebrated some type of false victory it's like they got some type of false victory and they were so happy they thought that they had destroyed you they thought they had brought an ending to you only to find out that they had celebrated too early and now balance is being brought into this situation Everything they were aiming to put you through or to cause you is going to be happening to them. Okay? This was a whole collaboration. And I think this is why it started off with this emperor's story being told. He was not aware of how far these people were going behind the scenes to interfere with someone's movement. He did not get the 411 before he started participating in the shenanigans. And when Spirit guided him to remove himself from this collaboration, I think he did that. And now he's living with regret, with remorse. And this is how this story has taken a turn because the rest of it is being exposed. So maybe he's watching and now he knows the truth about what's been going on. So you did the right thing by putting an end to that collaboration. Your, your, your enemies cannot handle what they dished out to you. Is what I just heard. But unfortunately, they're going to have to handle it. I just heard the, the a side word, please. I don't know who you are. If that's what you're considering, do not do that. We all need to learn that there are consequences for our actions. Everything you do in life, there's a consequence. Nothing goes unseen. Nothing is left unbalanced, okay, in the universe. Everything you do with every, what do they teach us in school? With every action, there is a reaction. So this is where we are, okay? Someone here is realizing that they could have had true love with you. And this is something they've always wanted, but that's not happening anymore. Because they collaborated with a group of people. Honey, I'm telling you, 
yeah the wheel of fortune you're moving forward things are moving in your favor and we have to fool out here i'm going to leave it just as that just as, just at that balance is in this situation i will see you all in my next read thank you for watching stay blessed and goodbye for now